What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I picked up at my first ever hockey card show here in Ottawa. So I'm really excited to share everything that I picked up. I got some great deals and a lot of stuff that I personally collect. There was a lot to look through at the show and I can't wait to share what I picked up with you guys. The card show there is a lot of booths, a lot of stuff to go through, and they have card shows once a month. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to attend a few more throughout the year and pick up some great stuff because they had a lot of great deals and stuff that I personally collect, the players I collect, and the type of cards that I collect. On top of this, they also have a ton of comic books. Now, unfortunately, I didn't even think to look through the comic books. As you guys know, I don't only collect hockey cards. I also collect comic books, among other things. So next time I go to a card show, I'm hopefully going to pick up a few comic books that I'm into. So for this video, I'm just going to be sharing everything I picked up. I got some great deals. Let's just get right into it. So up first is a complete set for 9091 Upper Deck Series 1, including all rookie cards, including a rookie for Yager. Now, if you guys know, I already have this card in my collection for my Yager collection. However, this card here, having it included for a complete set, this 1 to 400 complete set, I'm really excited. Now, normally I don't go for complete sets just because it's hard for me to uh, acquire and piece together complete sets. But whenever I seen this, it was only $3. So I thought for $3, I get a Yager card, which I think is valued around $6. So right there, I'm paying $3 for a complete set. It includes a $6 Yager rookie card. So for me, I thought that was a great deal, and I thought, why not add that to my collection? Now, for some of the other stuff that I picked up at the show, up first is the first year for the Ottawa Senators, a ticket from their first year. So I'm really excited for that. Yes, it is a little bit beat up. I do understand it probably isn't worth too much, but I only paid $2 for this, and I believe I'll have to do a little bit more research but I believe this is from their second game that the Senators have ever played. So I'm really excited to look it up and see if that's actually true. I understand it's beat up, but for me, since I collect Ottawa Senators stuff, this to me was a great find for me. Now getting into the hockey cards that I picked up. All of them were $2 each, so really cheap, but the stuff that I collect. So up first, the first booth that I went to. I picked up a Maxima Lejoie Ice Premier's Jersey card. So as you guys know, I love Jersey cards. Most of the stuff that I picked up today were Jersey cards. So this for me, for $2 for a Ottawa Senators rookie, a Jersey card, and something that I actually absolutely love whenever I first seen it, I thought, why not pick that up? Next up is a Jacob Troba. Let it focus here. A Relics card, numbered out of 199 Now, it's not really focusing here, but I looked up the value of this whenever I got home. I paid $2 for this as well, and I think it's valued for around $20, so I'm really excited. I love numbered cards. This is numbered out of 199 I love jersey cards, so this to me was a great find. Next is going to be a career legacy for Evander Kane. It includes a patch from the Atlanta Thrashers and a patch from the Winnipeg Jets. So since I collect his cards, but I can never usually find them, I've seen this for $2. I thought, why not pick it up and add it to my collection, especially a dual jersey card from two separate teams he was on. Next is a Black Diamond rookie card for... Curtis Lazar, numbered out of 199 Now, it is a little bit thicker, but I honestly don't think the value is going to be too much. I'm thinking maybe high-end, maybe $5. I have yet to look it up. But since I collect rookie cards, you guys know this. It's a numbered card, and it's an Ottawa Senators, a player that I actually liked. I know he's on uh, Buffalo now, but for me, that was a great find for my collection. Next up, I honestly can't remember if I had this card, so I picked it up for $2, Matt Duchesne. There was another one that I know I had there, P.K. Subain. Uh, I was going to pick it up because I know I can never find his, but I already had it, so I thought, why not? Or I thought, why to pick it up? Next is going to be a Rookie Materials for Shane Prince. 
I think one thing that I'm going to try to do is get this year's Rookie Materials Complete set, because I have quite a few now. I think I have four or five. It's 15, 16 Rookie Materials. I think that's my next goal. I want to try to pick up all the Rookie Materials for that year. Shane Prince, I've been looking for this one for a while. I've found on eBay anywhere from, with shipping, 5 to $10. I picked this up at the show for $2. So to me, that was actually something I was looking for for a while. I didn't go to the show necessarily for it, but I thought that was a great card to spot and find for $2. Next is going to be Pekka Rene, SP Game Used Authentic. Uh, it is a white jersey, which I normally like the colored jersey more, but I collect goalie cards. You guys know this, and I've seen this one here. Again, $2, so I thought, why not add it to my collection? I thought it looked awesome. Next is going to be a Braden Holtby jersey card which I absolutely love that they use the uh, NHL shield for this year's jersey card. So I thought, why not pick it up? Because it is a goalie card. It's a goalie that I like. So I thought, why not add it? And the last card that I picked up at the card show, I almost missed this. This is whenever I put back the P.K. Subain uh, regular jersey card. I decided to put it back and I just kept looking and I finally found this one. I almost missed it. And it is an Ian McCoshin. Jersey card, a rookie authentic jersey card for SP, numbered out of 399. And I absolutely seen this. I thought I absolutely have to get it. Now I looked up the value of this, and I think it's on the low end of like seven or eight dollars. Again, I only picked up it for two dollars. So it's a player that I like. I have his rookie card, I think I have his young guns. So to add his authentic rookies. I think that was amazing and a great find for me. Now, I also managed to, after the card show, get a couple more things because I went to the card show not only with my girlfriends, but also her grandfather, who is a huge collector as well. So he actually gave me a few cards as well, stuff that he had extras of in his collection. So up first is Opichki, P.K. Subain, because you guys know I have a small PC of his. So this was awesome to get, just to add to my PC for him. A Beehive for Marion Hossa, which I do like the player, so I'm glad to get this. And also a Beehive for Yager. So this is an awesome one to add to my Yager collection. You guys know I absolutely love Yager. I tried to collect for him for as much as I can without breaking the bank. So this was awesome to see. And it also gave me some jumble cards and a postcard. So we have a jumble card for Wade Raiden. A OPG Retro. Which was awesome. I'll have that displayed. A Jason Spezza Victory. Jumbo, which is awesome. As you guys know, I have a small PC of Jason Spezza, which keeps growing. And a postcard for Yager. Now he told me a little story about this one. He said that normally it came with the postcard and the stamp. However, whenever he was looking for the stamps, he never received a Yager stamp. So the stamp would literally go up in this corner here. So if I ever find one, I will put it up there, but I honestly will never get rid of this. I am a huge, huge fan of Yager. So this is definitely gonna be going on display up on my shelf for all of my collectibles. So I absolutely loved going to the card show. As you guys can see right in front of me, I have a lot of great cards that I picked up. Out of the cards that I picked up at the card show, I honestly would say number one, the Ian McCoshin, numbered out of 399, has to be my favorite. I almost missed it. So to have a rookie card that's numbered and it's a jersey card, I absolutely love that. Also, the Le, Le, Le Joie card right here, I'm a huge fan of that. The Kane card, the dual jersey, and also the Jacob Troba. So, I'm a huge fan of this. I absolutely loved going to it. I had more fun going to the card show and looking through everything and experiencing everything than I do whenever I purchase stuff off of eBay and try to find stuff like that. Because with eBay, with paying the shipping that, I actually paid and got a lot more at the card show for a lot less than I do off of eBay. So I'm hoping to, they have card shows once a month at this location. 
I'm hoping to go back in the future. I'm hoping to get more deals. I actually went in with the budget of, I think I went in with the budget of $50 and I only spent 22. So I'm proud of myself. I only picked up the stuff that I absolutely wanted and that I found that was at a great deal. So I'm expecting to go back to this card show a few more times throughout the year. Maybe not every month, maybe not every card show they have, but I'm definitely planning on going back and seeing what else I can find, especially in the summer whenever more dealers come out, whenever the weather's better. And next time, hopefully I'll pick up some comic books and share that with you in my comic book collection videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.